In this video, we will talk about bind address in MySQL. Bind address is a security feature. Bind address is used to allow or restrict access to a MySQL database from other computer hosts. Let us see how this works. But first, let us see how to specify bind address in MySQL. There are two ways to specify bind address. You can specify bind address inside the mydcnf file, or you can specify bind address while starting the MySQL D process. Now, let us see how bind address works. In the first example, we have set the bind address inside the my.cnf file to a value of 128.432.232.101. This restricts access to the MySQL database from only a single host, which has the IP address of 128.432.232.101. This is a highly secure setting allowing access from only one host. However, this may not be practical since you might want to allow access from multiple hosts to the MySQL database. For example, you might want to allow access from multiple application servers and also allow access to developers. How do we allow access from multiple hosts? Prior to MySQL 8.0.13, only one address is permitted. Wildcard characters are used in that address to specify multiple servers in that subdomain. For example, 128.432.232, asterisk. As of MySQL 8.0.13, bind address accepts a list of comma-separated values. This allows for a lot of flexibility in allowing us to provide specific hosts from which to allow access. Now, let us look at a highly unsecure bind address setting. A bind address setting of 0, 0, 0, 0 allows connection from all remote servers. Similarly, if no bind address is specified in my CNF file or as an argument to MySQLD command, connections from all remote servers are allowed. There is another option where you allow connections only from the server hosting the database. This is done by setting bind address to 127.0.0.1. This is usually provided to allow access to the developers and DBA. I hope you liked this video and found it useful. If so, please click on the subscribe button below. Thank you and have a nice day.